Hey guys, Josh Nigginson here, and what I want to do is show you a great variation of the chin up. It's a lot healthier on the shoulders. Now, if you're like a lot of guys, as we start to get older and we try and perform chin ups, we start to get a lot of shoulder aggravation. And what I've found is if we take a rest pause approach, uh, it lets you uh, ensure that your form stays number one. You can really focus on contracting and squeezing through the lats, but more importantly, not overstretching the shoulder. You see behind me, so I've got the rack set up and I've got a step, an aerobic step. Now this may be, um, you can use anything depending upon your gym or where you're training. What it really means is when I'm in that full stretch position, my heels are going to be able to touch the, touch, the, um, touch the step and that's really important. That's why I've got the step there. I don't want to go down and touch with my toes because I'm going to, de I'm going to bounce. It's, it's human nature, that's what we do. But as I lower down, I'm going to actually come down onto my heels and onto the flat of my feet. Okay, reset my posture, make sure everything's locked in nice and tight, take that big breath in, and then just forcefully squeeze up. So I'm gonna give you a demo now and show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'll rip the shirt off so you get to see it as well. Alright. Need a little bit of extra weight, which is always cool. So I'm just gonna be doing about five reps, a fairly low reps, which is, you know, again, it's one of those things if we chin ups, but uh, what should I do? Rest pause style. So I'm able to control the depth, how far I come down and make sure I don't have a stretch. So next time you're training chins, training back, give that one a shot. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up and uh, subscribe to the channel. I want to bring a lot more real stuff like this to you. So uh, cheers. Thanks. Man. <laughs>